The Alzheimer's Disease Neuroimaging Initiative, or ADNI, is a large open access database that contains hundreds of brain scans from both healthy controls and people with Alzheimer's. In addition to imaging data, there are several covariates that have been collected for each subject. In addition to basic measurements such as age and years of attending school, there are measurements of cognitive ability, anxiety, depression, and genotypes, such as the presence or absence of the APOE4 allele. To access the imaging data, go to the top of the page, click on Data and Samples, and then select Access Data and Samples. This will take you to the Access page. Scroll down and click on the button Apply for ADNI Data. You will be requested to accept the terms of using their data. Select the I Agree radio button and then click Submit. You will be asked to provide your email address. Upon submitting your address, you will be sent a security code. Copy and paste it into the security code field and then click Continue. I already have an account, but if it's your first time, you would have to fill out an application form with details such as name, degree, institution, and a short description of your proposed analysis. It may take one to two weeks for your application to be reviewed and approved. Once your application is approved, you can access the Image and Data Archive, or IDA webpage, by clicking on this icon here. If you click on Log In, you will be prompted to sign up if you don't already have an account with the Image and Data Archive. Otherwise, enter your email and password once you've registered, and then either press Enter or click the Login button. Once you're logged in, hover your mouse over your username and click on My Account. Your landing page on the IDA should look something like this, showing that you have access to the ADNI project. Click on Projects, and then click on ADNI. You should now see the ADNI homepage with graphs depicting the participant demographics. Click on the Download button, and then select Image Collections. This will take you to the IDA search page with different tabs for Search, Advanced Search, and Data Collections. If you want to search for images, I recommend using the Advanced Search Beta tab, which allows you to select different phases of the study, as well as specific imaging modalities such as DTI or fMRI. For instance, checking the boxes ADNI Go in the Project Phase area and MRI in the Modality field would display a list of any image that was acquired as a structural MRI. This includes a typical MPRAGE scan, as well as localizers and calibration scans. If you want, you can click on the View button next to each image to open a viewer and scroll through the slices of the volume. Now, we are only interested in the high-quality T1-weighted MRIs which are the MP-RAGE images. Check the boxes next to the MP-RAGE image for subjects 002S0685 and 002S0729 and click on Add to Collection. You can enter a new name for it, such as My Collection, and then access it from the Data Collections tab. Instead of having to select all of the MP-RAGE images by hand, however, there are a few collections that have already been saved for you. In the Data Collections tab, in the Collections sidebar, click on Other Shared Collections, and then ADNI, and then ADNI 1 Baseline 3T. This will display a list of all the structural MRIs that were collected for this particular phase and magnetic field strength. In addition to demographic data such as sex and age, you will also see a column labeled Group, which contains an abbreviation for each category. In this case, AD means Alzheimer's, and CN indicates a control subject. Organize the data by group by clicking on the group header, if you haven't already, and then click the boxes next to the image for the first six AD subjects. Then scroll down and do the same for the first six CN subjects, avoiding any duplicates. 
Make sure the boxes are aligned with the group label that says CN. Your list of subjects may look slightly different from mine, but that shouldn't affect the later analyses that we'll do in the CAT 12 toolbox. Once you have highlighted 12 subjects total, click on the button One Click Download. After a few seconds, you should see a new dialog box appear. Click on Zip File 1 to start your download. Downloading the data should only take a couple of minutes. I'm going to fade out and come back when it finishes. Once the download finishes, unzip the file addy one underscore baseline 3t.zip. Then open a terminal, navigate to your desktop, and create a new folder by typing mkdir cat12 underscore tutorial. Within this folder, create two subfolders, ad and cn. Now go back to the addy window and exit out of the one-click download window. Using the download window as a guide, place the AD subjects into the appropriate directory in the CAT12 directory. We have to fade out here to hide the subject IDs. Just make sure you place each subject in their corresponding group directory. In this case, we have six in each for 12 total. Next, you'll notice that each of these subject folders contains several subfolders before you reach the anatomical nifty image. Since these subfolders aren't needed, move each of the nifty files to each subject's top folder by typing the following code from the CAT12 tutorial directory. You can find this code in the link to the BrainBook chapter down below. We're going to fade out again to protect the subject IDs and show you what the finished product should look like. I've changed my subject IDs to be anonymized so that they're labeled sub-01 AD, sub-02 AD, and so on. Same thing for the control group. If we look within one of these subjects folders, they should have a corresponding nifty file. Now that your data is organized, you are ready to analyze it using the CAT12 toolbox. We will see how to do that in the next video.